They're going to have some tough receiving to do first against Larissa. World Championship final gets underway. And it's Jen Kessie, the first to make a mark. Well, Kessie knows that she's going to be the player that's going to do most of the work in this partnership. She's the one who's going to carry the hitting load. Gets off to a good start, off the hand. Hopes Juliana, the player who's going to do the blocking in the partnership for Brazil, gets the point for America. And there, Ross can have a go and see if she can get some heat from the jump serve. Here she comes, April Ross. Well, it was uh, nicely taken out. The sting taken right out of its straightaway. It was hit hard from Ross. But in the end, Brazil are off and running too. Interestingly, Kessie is over to the referee up this play, just discussing the setting of Larissa. The ball did spin considerably, but nobody, uh, no double touch was given. Well, serving from Juliana put the US under pressure, but what a recovery to get the side out. Well, that's the mark of a good team, the ability to recover, the ability to get back in position to have a swing. Kessie does that, and Juliana breaking from the net, but nobody taking the middle of court. Well, the gap was left, it was well exploited, it means it's 2-1. Early exchanges here, the States are on serve. Hot defence there from the States, but it's hit too hard straight at Abel Ross from Juliana. I don't think Abel Ross was quite expecting this right down the throat with the ball, but she gets it right, and it's almost as if she's surprised by this play. There was an opportunity there for the USA to recover again. But they didn't manage to on that occasion, 2-2. Two -two. Both teams uh, just showing the other what they're made of. Early doors here. Well, the net, uh, in the end, coming to Juliana's aid, you have to say. Well, both teams quite clearly are up for this. An opportunity to be world champion. It doesn't come by that often, and they're both showing exactly what they're here for and why they're here and what they're capable of doing. None of these teams have won the world championship, of course, and there will be a new champion with Mr May, uh, Trina, and Kerry Walsh absent. There's Larissa sends one long. 3-3. Means Ross moves to serve. Nobody able to open up an early advantage. Ross again is going to have a good run at this one. Let's see if she can find the power. Looks to crank it up early on. April Ross. Well, she did crank it up, but a bit too hard. 78.2 kilometers per hour, but she couldn't find the backcourt. Or if you think she got a piece of the line, she's just looking questioningly at the referee. It was a very good serve, it's well left by Larissa, and it is long. Long by a good five centimetres or so. So, four, three points uh, moving along, not at regular intervals. But the States, uh, again, draw level. It's all about side-out beach volleyball at the minute. Ross knows she's not going to get many swings, taking her opportunity and keeping Brazil thinking that they must stay on Kessie. And talking of Kessie, here she is. And April Ross uh, came up with a signal. Well, Larissa will take that one, though, beautifully rolled over the block of April Ross and finding space nicely for 5-4. Looked like she was going to go cross-court right up until she hit the ball. Kessie thought about it, decided in the end she wasn't going to make it. Good decision. And that ball hit the sand rather quickly. Well, first telling off for Juliana from Larissa. Ross up at the net with Juliana, and Ross playing it off Juliana's hands. And it didn't matter whether it went in or out. It was the last touch from Brazil, and it's the USA's point. Their point. April Ross going to take yet another run at this one. Well, she's uh, 
Not got her radar working quite yet, but she's certainly hitting the ball hard. She's hitting it a lot harder than she did in the semi-final. She's been saving herself for this occasion. She's already registered the quickest serve of the championship so, so far. Well, not enough pace on to get one to get it over the net from uh, Juliana. Side out for uh, the US without having to touch the ball. Well, the USA will take that every time. They don't have to work for their side out. It's a good position to be in. Well, is that a good leave? Looks like a very, very good leave in the end. Question of millimeters in that one. Well, the ball did seem to stay in the air for an awfully long time. Eventually, it dropped, but not quickly enough for the USA. It is out. We're just questioning that, though. Referee's happy it's out. Of course, from that angle down court, it will have looked very, very close indeed. Even uh, on the replay above the line, it looked close. Every right to question it. Strong blocking from Juliana. Line was the call. She didn't get anywhere near that line in the end. It's a good breakthrough for Brazil. Juliana with the squat, jumps up, gets across the net, denies Kessie the line shot. As I say, Kessie denied. It means that Brazil have the first advantage of the match, up to two points. Larissa looking to build on that now from service line. Kessie's up and she's up very, very hard. Has a swing and a big swing at that one. Fast arm from Kessie, takes this in a fast tempo. Doesn't give Juliana time to get set. She's still moving, but she can't get control of the ball. Struck her in the face, that one. Good power from uh, Jen Kessie. Simple beach volleyball from Brazil. Hours on the practice courts to come up with that play. High hand, never going to be a hard shot. It was just a question of where she was going to roll it to. This occasion, she goes to the line, gets the point, and now it's her serve. Well, picks up the serve. As Larissa wanders back to her position, deep in the back court. Leanne, of course, going to the net, as per usual. And talking about Larissa's positioning, it was perfect for the reception. Set up well by Juliana. Larissa finished it off beautifully as well. Lead now up to three, Clayton. This is a great start for Brazil. Larissa just ambling out to the cross court, protecting that sideline, and then comes up with a very good roll shot. Takes a piece of the block as well to guarantee a point for Brazil. Excellent play. Well, we saw uh, Ross and Kessie come back from behind in uh, several matches, the last couple of knockout matches, in fact. And they won't like playing against these two. They've continued that they lost the gold medal match in Brasilia at the start of the season to the Brazilians. But good work there from uh, Jen Kessie and Abel Ross, just ensuring that they didn't let them get away. And the lead's cut to two with Kessie at the side out and uh, on serve herself now. 8-10. A match in Brazil, by the way, over in straight sets. They'll be wary of Juliana Larissa. It's the one thing that Brazil have done so well. Every time there's been a medal on the line, they've beaten Ross uh, and Kessie in straight sets. There you Three go. occasions they've done it. St. Petersburg in 2007, the Berlin Grand Slam in 2008, and as you mentioned, in Brasilia this year. Well, they've all been quick-fire matches too, No, not the closest of matches. All over in 40 minutes or so. And Juliana ensured that that rally would be over very quickly indeed. One point to go before the technical timeout. And they're two up. You can just see it the way Brazil raise their game for these big, big matches. They are both in the zone, and for once, Juliana having a word back at Larissa as Larissa told her off. And she had every right to there. She hammered that one home and won her team the point. Larissa will run up to the line here. Oh, it's easy to go short in the end, and uh, a bit too short 
for the Brazilian uh, spectators' likings. It's a bit more positive for uh, Chelsea and Ross as they go to the technical timeout, just a point behind. Well, this game is going very, very quickly. I'm not sure it suits the USA's pace. It certainly suits the way Brazil are playing at the moment. They like to speed things up on their side of the court. And uh, they do have the advantage. All right, the serve hasn't quite made it over. The technical serve trying to bring Kessie to the net, trying to make her work really hard to see if she'll get back out to come in and have an attack. But you can't serve easy at this level or you'll get punished. You're punished every single mistake. This is the World Championship final, of course. And we've not just beat volleyball entertainment on. The dancers are back in action. As the court, of course, being swept at this technical timeout. Halfway through the first set, Brazil, as Clayton Lucas said, with a slight advantage, those fans will be delighted. And uh, the pom-pom girls supporting the USA once again. Still waiting for April Ross and Jen Kessie to take the positions. Here they come. And remember, they uh, do not like, in general, playing against Juliana. There is a seven matches between the two. We're saying, and Clayton pointed out, that uh, all the gold medal matches have been won by Brazil between these two. But the record at the moment stands at 5-2 in favour of the Brazilians. So it's very much in their favour. Uh, if we take a quick look at the history books. Line, 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 and it does hit the line. Power from Jen Kessie, 11 all, back in this first set. She had the option of the line roll, which is what Ray Frost was giving her the option with the court. But Kessie also knew she had the hammer cross court, and that's what she brought to that play. Well, hit hard. And it levels things up. This is April Ross. Well, uh, is she getting closer? Is she getting further away? It's hard to tell. She's trying to make it difficult for Brazil. And when she gets it right, Brazil will find themselves in a bit of bother. For now, though, they've been let off the hook. Juliana goes to April Ross this time. The bump set is fired home by Larissa. 12-11, quality beach volleyball. What a great swing from Larissa. She's square onto the net. She's looking like cross course the option, but she's so strong, such great shoulder strength, she's able to cut that across her body with an immense power and put it away down the line. Well, she is certainly as strong as an ox. Larissa Franza. Eight season, 70 tournaments and 24 career wins for her. Well, now it's Juliana and Brazil really do go into that lead. Three points it is, and it's their set to lose, isn't it? Well, it's a tentative shot from uh, April Ross. Normally, she goes a lot higher than that. She's tried to roll it. It's too short. It's right into the hands of Juliana. And this is a good passage of play for Brazil. And a passage of play which will continue with Juliana. She tries to sting another few points together. Well, spectacular diving effort to the left from Larissa, unable to keep the ball in play. Goes flying off into the crowd, and the, the California Republic girls are happy. Not quite hit as hard as she would have liked, net getting in the way, and very nearly brought back into play by Larissa. Well, was that the greatest set in the world? Didn't really matter in the end. There's a net touch. April Ross getting fished into the net. Forearm following through and catching the top of the tape. The lead of three as Lady Sat serves without a run up to April Ross. And now it's Sir Jen Kessie coming to the top of the box. Well, she saves April Ross's blushes with that play. And it wasn't a good roll shot from Juliana. She's taken that one, going with the pokey, in fact. 
and hasn't played it high enough. And it was Larissa who come up with an uncharacteristic error. She doesn't normally play that side of the court. And he's just uh, given the US a sniff here. 13-15 down. April Ross uh, could uh, shoot a do with finding one of her serving specials from here. Wow, well, they were going to the line defence, it went cross-court, and it was nice and easy for Brazil in the end. Well, it's a very wide set from Larissa out to Juliana, and it's disrupted the USA block. Can't get out far enough, not there quickly enough, as Juliana comes back cross-court with the swing, and for once, Larissa is delighted with her partner. Well, oh, take that on your video recorders at home, it's not something you'll uh, see very often. Uh, last ditch attempt from April Ross, but it left the court open. Kessie followed her, and it means it's 17-13. And it definitely is uh, the Brazilians who are firmly in charge of this match. Great control and a good waiting game from Juliana. She served, come through to the net, popped the ball back over. She goes back to serve again. This is a great lead now for Brazil. Better though from April Ross. Just kidding the ball in front of the dive of Larissa. All she could do here was pokey. Didn't have a, the space to have a swing at the ball. But she's still able to find the sand. Well, enjoyment to be had by all, all except April Ross and Jen Kessie at the moment. They're down. However, they've been handed a bit of a reprieve here from four down back to two. 15-17, and uh, the majority of that crowd are going for the Green Girls. Well, Larissa putting a side spin on the ball, and it just helps to carry it out over the line. Ah, oh, nice from Larissa. Well, this time she's brought further into court. She's got a greater margin for error, for error to the line. And she wasn't troubled at the net by the blocking of... Uh, April Ross. Juliana Larissa already third on the all-time Swatch win list. Looking to add another and a world title to their names here. And they're being stubborn in this rally. Well, just hit long. The US have cause to celebrate as the back to it in two, but Brazil repelling everything that was thrown at them then. It's the one area of court where the sun is right into the player's face, and I think Larissa on this occasion can be forgiven for the fact that it's difficult at times to see just how far the ball is in relation to your hand when you're swinging in that situation. Sun, of course, getting uh, very, very low at this time of the evening. It's uh, 25 past seven local time as Brazil just decided to take a breather. That is, that looks unhappy as she uh, so often does, but uh, they're not far away from being a setup though. Well, Larissa's a perfectionist, she just wants everything to be right first time, every time. It's not always going to be the case, but Juliana doesn't mind, she can handle it and right now. It's America, the United States, under pressure and trying to figure a way back into this game. Well, they're looking for a way back into the match and uh, they've been undefeated, both of these teams. Uh, as we take a look, and uh, Mr. Wei is enjoying himself, along with his wife, the president of the FIVB, here to join in the festivities and uh, thoroughly enjoying his afternoon's entertainment, as we heard that you are doing at home. This is a top quality beach volleyball match. This is the best of the best. And uh, the announcer whipping the crowd into a frenzy, as if they needed to be. Mexican wave going around the Bergen Stadium. It's uh, very close to being full to capacity. Back to the action, though. This is enthralling stuff. April Ross, two points down the States. Poor reception, has to be said from Juliana. Well, it's the weight of serve, 80.4 kilometres an hour. It's up there in the, into the top serving of the week. 85 is the highest that Ross has recorded so far. A net touch from Juliana trying to avoid, or trying to get her hands on the ball. And that could be a big point for the USA.
Well be because the back to one, the momentum is firmly with the US. Cut the lead from four. Oh, it just called out in the game. This time, the sting that was taken out of the tail of the serve, but then it all collapsed. Well, it's just when you want Ross to come up with a big serve, she's brought two in a row now, and that's the problem. That's what's called the Brazil problems, and it's put them back level. This is brilliant. It is brilliant, and it's building to a crescendo of tension as well here at the end of the first set. But for once, it's April Ross that fails before demonstrating her soccer skills. She just threw that a little bit too far in front of her, lost height, and then that's when the net came into play. Not a great contact point, not that high above her head with her hand. And Brazil are let off the hook. Off the hook, and two points away from that set lead. Wow, very, very clever again. You talked about Larissa's strength and her options throughout the court. This time she went left, and it's brought up set point. Great work from Juliana. Touched the ball above her head, then able to pop it up in mid-court for Larissa, who had options left and right. And it's a great swing from her, able to hit that left sideline. Well, she looks on the top of the game at the minute. Larissa, timeout call by the States. They still have that weapon in their armory. Brazil don't seem to be bothered about it. They're standing in the court. That's a psychological pressure on the States. We're not bothered, idea, as uh, those two definitely need a conversation or two to sort things out. Well, it's a long walk for Brazil to go back and sit down and walk back out again. It's a better uh, saving of energy just to stand still and have a chat. They know what needs to be done. Poor old uh, court markers having to uh, smooth the court out around them. Well, I, would, I wouldn't ask Larissa to get out of the way, would you? No, not at all. Well, the court being swept to the best <laughs> of the ability by those uh, poor volunteers. And again, uh, there might be uh, a bit of that back line that might avoid being swept. Uh, we all know that uh, who she is cheering for. And those sunglasses uh, well put to use at the minute. As we say, the sun very, very low. Daylight here until well past midnight, by the way. A very, very unique thing to experience. Well, the Americans are back, they're ready, but they've got some defending to do. Set point to Brazil. It's going to be uh, Juliana to serve, and then race to the net. Here she goes. The fly from April Ross is instant. 19-18, still one more set point at this end. Larissa was sure this was going out, and she's gutted that she played it. It was a good swing from Ross, it probably was going long, and Larissa knew the minute she put her hands on it, she should have just left it. And she is very, very upset with herself, but now it's time to get on and save the set. Well, needs to put it to the back of her mind as Juliana receives, but uh, it was a poor reception. Good serve, credit to the server, of course, Jen Kessie. 20 each, anybody set again? Well, you've got to win by two clear now. There's no cap, it's the first team to get two clear. This is a great swing from April Ross, off one foot. That's so hard to do off the sand to get the height required. She's done it. USA are back in this one. The crowd rise to their feet. They know it's imminent that somebody's going to go ahead here. But who will it be? Well, it's Brazil who have the advantage again, second set point. What a leap, what a play from Juliana. She gets so high on the same, she's face down in it. The next minute she's up above the height of the net, the ball goes down, and it's another set point for Brazil. Well, Juliana this time charged with the responsibility of sending the ball across. No visor for her, got rid of it. Back level once more. Still the stage come back. They are not going to give this up without a fight. And that's exactly what we want to see. Of course, sporting spectacle, the aim of the game for us. And this one, well, it's providing uh, an endless amount of it. April Ross's turn again. We know, all know what she's capable of.
Oh, it's wow. a net touch from Juliana. She's gone to bump set there. She's caught the net with her hand. And Larissa can't believe it. She feels that's a rookie error, and she's giving Larissa a right telling off. Or Larissa's giving Juliana a right telling off. There is the touch. And then Kessie wasn't so far away herself from the other side. Set point now for the States. Well dug out by Juliana. Finishes it off well down the line too and delighted with herself. Doesn't even look at Larissa. Well, she dare not look at Larissa because the advantage has swung back to the USA. And now, if the USA side out, they're going to have a set point. Juliana looking to come up with something on serve. 20 to all. Line called, line missed. Set point Brazil. Advantage swings back to the greens. Well, it's set point number three. And this is an uncharacteristic error from April Ross, but her left side drifted away from her. She lost control of the ball in the air. She's over-rotated, and that's why it's gone wide. Well, then, set point Brazil. Clayton said the third attempt. And the third time it's repelled by the USA. Well, I can tell you, we had a set on the outer courts in one of the men's quarterfinal. We go to 37-35 earlier. I wonder how far this is going to go. Yeah, well, it's going to go until somebody can get to clear, and we could be here all night. Now, where's the decision gone this time? Well, it's gone against Juliana. She's fallen into the net, but she's saying that it's uh, it's Ross who's touched the net. Well, the referee's in discussion here. Having a look for ourselves. Well, the thing is, it's a fault from Juliana. She's come down, she's caught the, the netting, the, uh, the other side of the antenna. If she had just hit the post, that would have been OK. But she's caught the net as well, outside the antenna. You can now explain. Looks as though the decision. It was too early with this call because she Maybe the going against the States, though, because. Well, the uh, only reason that the ball, the net, touched Kessie is because Juliana's dragged it down. Well, it looks to have gone against the States. Jen Kessie, not happy at all. Well, I don't blame her. She is furious the, with that. The call was too early, so it's a replay. A replay given. Well, it's probably a fair decision. Referee's blown too early. He's. Uh, saying that, in fact, he blew the whistle too early. So, I think uh, Juliana inside will be very pleased with that because she dragged the net down and it should have been the USA's point. Oh, big of the referee to admit an error there, sensible referee, especially at this vital stage in the World Championship final. And at this vital stage in the World Championship final, Jen Jesse, it's one long set point again for Brazil. Well, she can't believe she's done it. Just a lapse in concentration, and Juliana again going back to the referee to discuss this, but it's point, it's a new point, it's done, it's over. They've got to concentrate on the next thing now, which is trying to finish this set off. The latest to try will be Larissa. Got a good run at the line here. Well, it's a 24-24. And we're still going. The US will not lie down in set one here. Well, it's great play from both sides. Kessie showing exactly what she's capable of. And now Ross has a great opportunity from the serving line to send the thing back towards the USA and give them the momentum. Uh, cleverly killed and uh, with lethal hands there, Juliana. Brings up yet another set point. What are we on now? Number five, six. It's set point number five that comes up, and quite rightly, April Ross is not happy with the setting of Larissa, and Larissa's not happy with the fact that the USA are complaining to the ref. Well, they're going to have to get on with it and defend set point again. Oh, what a surprise. It's a good side out, but once again, Juliana's into the net. She's trying too hard at the moment to make a block and make a touch. And 
Jones, he's making some unforced errors. Net touch is an unforced error. And April Ross that. Back to 25 each. But Larissa finishes that one very, very delicately indeed. And she's straight back to the line. She wants to get on with this. Uh, she wants to get this ball served. She wants to get this set done. But she's going to have to wait. She's waiting, because uh, we're seeing this replay, of course, of her last point. Here she is again to go, though. Set point again for Brazil. No run up this time. But from deep behind the back court. It's in the backcourt where the ball hits the sand for the States. 26-26. No winner in sight just yet. And there, uh, California dreaming at the minute with the States uh, staying in this one. Well, the dangerous April Ross once more to try and break what is an endless deadlock here. And she's hit the line! She's come up with one, you called it, it would happen sooner or later, and it's happened to bring up set point. Well, it gives them their second set point, what a time to come up with an ace. Larissa Vignall ends up, and she can't believe it, 82.9 kilometres an hour, right onto the line, a big point for the USA. That could be even a world championship winning serve, yet. Yeah. She looks to follow it up here with uh, the set winning serve. But work still to do as Juliana gets the side out. And for the moment, the USA are the latest, not able to convert the set point. Well, a little bit of luck. It's caught the net. It's run the wrong way from April Ross, who's left scurrying and can't get her legs to go quickly enough to come back the other way. But it's advantage USA now. An advantage USA extended their upper point and they have another set point. Time for a side change, is that? Well, one more to go. There's Jonas Kersoneni as we see that hammer down cross court. Well, this is what the USA have. They've got that strength of the net, they've got the height, they've got the power, and they're bringing it to good use at the moment. Well, Jen Kessie serving wide here. But in serving wide, it was difficult to get over the other side of the court. Line defence played, Brazil going cross court, and it's back to 28. But it's still advantage USA. It's a tactical serve, just trying to make Juliana move. But in the end, she had plenty of space cross court to put the ball away. So Brazil need to keep this serve. Again, US has taken said as soon as they get the side out there on match, sorry, set point again. Oh, they wish it was match point, I'm sure. And there the history repeats itself up to 29-28. Getting close to the men's match early on in the day. Somehow Kessie gets this past Juliana's block. Juliana taking away the line, she's upset, she never dropped her hand inside to take the cross court. We've had 10 set points now, it's set point number four for the USA. The US needing 30 points to win this set, of course, if they're to do it here. Is that called in? It is! First set to the USA, and it's two giant serves from April Ross that have done the damage. Well, they've been talking about all tournament, the fact they've not relied on April Ross's serve to win the matches, but that could well be the thing that is the difference in this particular game. Two ace serves, two points difference. Ross and Kessie take the first set. What a start to this final. What a start, and uh, it looked to be going Juliana Larissa's way right to the end as we were approaching the magic 21 points mark. US timed their assault on the scoreboard to the right time and plenty of discussion or listening to do rather for Juliana. But sometimes it's just a waste of effort to talk about things that have happened unless you're going to go back and change it. Have another look at this serve from April Ross. She's thinking, I want the line. Not only did she get the line, she got the baseline and the sideline right into the corner. It may have been a 1 in 10 serve, but what a time to get it.
Well, she came up with two in the last few points. Uh, the first to give the US the advantage, of course, and the second to finish it off and kill the set. Well, they've certainly been entertained in set one. If set two is anywhere near as good, then they will have more than uh, value for money here. What to a match and uh, well deserving of uh, the title of World Championship final. Well, they saved the best till last. And at least now Brazil know that if they are going to win this, it's not going to be in straight sets. It's going to have to go to a tiebreaker. And if we go to a third set, it's the first of 15, not 21. Still going to win by two clear points, though. Well, Brazil's quest to force that decider begins here at the start of set two, as April Ross is the one just taking her time. States after this set to win the match and the world title. April Ross to get us underway in set two. And she gets us underway in fine style. Just too hard and too wayward for Juliana. Well, it was a difficult one for Juliana because she wasn't sure if this was going to go out or not. And she didn't want to leave it to chance. The chances were it was going to land in, in fact. It's a great serve from April Ross, who's really found her rhythm now from the serving line. Line blocks being called from Kessie, no matter which side of the court this goes, she's going to try and deny the line. Good reply from Larissa. Hitting cross court into space, and it did the business. Well, for once, April Ross not sitting on the cross court to try and take the power. She thought Larissa was going to roll this one line, but there was no such luck for the USA. It's a very angry Larissa. All the anger taken out on the ball there. It is from the serve again. Ross able to keep it in play, though, before going across the net and finding the line on the far side, the sideline. Initially, Brazil thought this one was out, but very quickly, Juliana points to say, yep, it was in. Good shot. Lovely shot, in fact, and right on the blue touch plate. Hitting into the block, Cable Ross. Uh, not too content with herself there, but not too angry either. One of those that... Uh, but it just got away from her. She's jumping laterally, and she took her eye off the ball, just looking at the floor, and she didn't really get the best of contacts on the ball. Marissa gets a good contact on the serve, though. Juliana, rather, as she raced to the net. And that one was uh, excellently placed. Jen Kess is asking the question about uh, a net infringement. I was just saying here that Juliana touched the net, but nobody did. So it's point for Brazil. Defence turn into attack by April Ross. And it's the States who level things up. 3-3. Good play from the USA. High hands defence from April Ross. Recovered by Kessie and then put away by Ross. Not a happy sight for Brazilian fans. And it won't be as they see April Ross charging to the line once more. But uh, Larissa certainly know how to charge that one down. Back in the lead, the Brazil. Good strength and power from Larissa. This time she's shaping up cross court, made no bones about that one either, despite the fact that Kessie very nearly made a good block. Well, Larissa, the Swatch FIVB World Tour's most outstanding player in 2006, serves at 4-3 up. But she's soon uh, conceding the point and going to 4-4, side out straight away from the States. It's all side out beach volleyball early doors here. Nice angle cross court, Juliana's never going to be able to stop that. Kessie again goes straight down the line. Taking two touches by Larissa, it always seems Brazil didn't get a chance to get that offensive blocking uh, formation sorted in time. 
Well, Larissa had to play the ball over on two. She wasn't in a good position to make the set for Juliana, and the USA had capitalised. Capitalised, they've got the side out. And they're in front here. Straight down from Jen Kersey, USA have a lead in set two. It's all swung their way. It's very clever play from Jen Kessie. Initially, it's a nice touch from April Ross to put it up in the air. Jen Kessie has a look. She can see there's space to her left side, and she's very quick to put the ball down. Put it down, she does for 6-4. This is Kessie, still at the serving line. Block from April Ross, but ineffective against that last season's top hitter. Just jumping again laterally, thought she was going to get her hands on it, perhaps a little bit too narrow in the block. Well, side out for Brazil. And being a set down, they don't want that American gap to creep much more beyond one or two. Larissa looking round and looking for Juliana, but she was never going to make that, was she? Not really, not unless she'd anticipated exactly where Larissa was going to play this. But it's a great call and a great bump set from Kessie. She's screaming, no one, no one, but it was in a calm manner that allowed Ross to go up and hit this one really, really hard. Juliana disappointed because she thought she might have been the one who happened to make the dig and reacted as if it was coming to her and then couldn't get back and chase the ball down. Struggling here, the Brazilians. And quite a bit of pressure early on in set two. With that pressure valve, but just released slightly. Ross is having a look back at her run-up. I think she put her foot in a bit of a, a well that had developed, and that's why she lost control of the ball. Well, she did lose control of it. Well over a metre beyond the line. Very unlike Capel Ross. Good serving, though, from Larissa. Not well controlled at all by Jen Kessie. Means it's 7-7. It means Brazil keep the serve. Send time out there for uh, April Ross as uh, she gives a quick acknowledgement to the cameraman. Still cleaning those glasses. Eventually she's sorted. Just perhaps trying to disrupt this familiar momentum. They've got a couple of points. That we see so again towards Brazil. 8-7, Larissa deep serve. It's quick thinking from Larissa. The first one was tied into the net, tied to the block. She played it into the block to come back out again. And then very quickly up, knowing that there was a space to the line as Kessie was drawn into court. Kessie drawn into court in the last play. Ross the target this time. They're claiming the touch. But uh, it's all about April Ross firing that one home. Uh, net touch given against Juliana. And there quite clearly was a net touch. So why on earth is telling the second referee he got it wrong? I've no idea because she was all over that net. And she would have certainly felt it. And she knew about that one and where to place it too. The Americans almost ended up tripping over each other. I think that was a bit of a lucky shot, really, from Juliana. I don't think she got the best contact, and she was very pleased to see this one land in. A landing it did. The lead now for the Brazilians, albeit a thin one. But it's the US who quickly respond, and Brazil not being allowed to pull away. Larissa had run to the line very quickly as Juliana jumped too early. A tentative look at Larissa there from Juliana. She may as well just turned away, I feel. Good leave. 78.1 kilometres per hour. She's certainly uh, revving up the speedometer today. Yeah. 
Oh, there is a fight in the net. And it's all a bit scratchy at the minute. Again, Kessie, the latest to, to try and get a serve in. It's a line block signalled from April Ross. So Kessie's going to sit cross-court, and they're going to try and deny Larissa going down the line. Oh, it didn't very, very nearly work. Kessie in the right place, but just couldn't get the right angle in defence to get the ball high enough. Well, a technical timeout time. Again, a replay of that action. Not able to get the ball back up. And it all means that as we go to the technical timeout, there's just a point in it. Even Stevens with uh, the Americans discussing things. They'll be fairly content with how things are going in the second set. Well, it's going the way of the first set. I think it's going to end up being a two-point game with the way both these teams are playing. As soon as someone gets in front or gets an advantage by getting a point from serve or block defense, the other team are cancelling it out by doing the same thing. Well, again, this match moving on at quite a pace. There's uh, the crowd still enjoying every minute of it. Look at those scenes. Party atmosphere in the Bergen Stadium. Just as it has been throughout the 10 days so far of this tournament. Remember, it's not over after this match. We've got the men's final four coming up for you tomorrow. Remember to tune in for that one. Four matches to come. And uh, the three nations still in that. Two German teams. We've got American possibilities. And, of course, as ever, the Brazilians also present in the shape of Arli Marques Silva and, of course, Alison Ceruti. Female Brazilians need to win the set, remember, to stay in the World Championship final. But the US uh, denying them thus far. April Ross showing that she's got a whole range of shots, just chipping this one over the block to the line. Up until now, the Americans uh, have lost more gold medal matches than they've won, but this is the one that they're desperate to win. It's the World Championship title as the Rissa digs. Uh, well, the Juliana digs out spectacularly. Hit too hard. Taken above the chest, but not taken well. Great play from Juliana. Extreme passing from her in the air to keep the ball in play. And then she's up quickly and has enough strength to deliver some heat which Kessie can get, can't get on from uh, Ross's dig. Well, the receiving throughout that rally spectacular, but in the end it was Ava Ross that let the side down. It was a question of who can hit the ball hardest, and it was Larissa that come up trumps. Turning Ross, she's facing the crowd, and that's exactly where the ball ended up. A punch of the air from Juliana. Two points to lead now. And if they're to stay in the World Championships, they need to hold on to it. Good, good, good reply, though, from April Ross and Jen Kessy. Well applauded. As the ring of fire rings out around this stadium. Certainly is a ring of fire around this court. The atmosphere and tension is very hot between these two teams. A point in it again. Kessie on serve. That was such a good play from the USA, in particular from Jen Kessie, because she had her back to the net. She's having to turn and roll this one cross-court. The key is the height at which she's able to contact the ball to get that angle and send it away from Larissa. Brilliant play from the USA. Uh, Larissa in the end, setting up for Juliana, who did the rest across the net. Well, exasperated is Jennifer Kessie because she can't believe again that a handling fault's not been called on Larissa's set. And it's a nice cut from Juliana. You can't take that away from a good shot. Back in front, the Brazilians. As he hits hard, it's Larissa who digs out. And in the end, Juliana with another delicate touch that does it. And at the side change there, back to two in front. 
That's one of the coolest plays we've seen in this final. Just a little reverse pokey to send Jen Kessie sprawling into the sand and keep Brazil two in front. Well, she's managed to pick herself up and have a chat with April Ross. Looking fairly calm despite being two points down as we get to, towards the end of the set that's going to decide everything as well. Regards whether we go to a third set or whether the Americans are going to be charged and crowned champions in straight sets. We're back to one point. It's a confident swing from Kessie. Larissa's upset because she gave too much of the sideline away. Doesn't want to get beaten to her outside when she's defending cross court. Defending can be done off the serve of April Ross now. 14-15 down. What can she come up with? Well, it was very, very good from April Ross and just a bit too good. 80.7 kilometers an hour. Larissa very nearly took Jen Kessie out of this play as she touched the ball, comes through. Unfortunately, it goes behind Juliana and she can't get enough on it to send it over the net. 15s. April Ross again. Where's she going to aim this time? It goes in the middle. Both of them going for it. And that could be the key point as far as the second set's concerned. Well, it's turned it back in the favour of the USA. And it is the April Ross serve that's doing the damage. And that is the perfect place to go right down the middle. Both players forced into playing the ball. The mistake is made. A big point for the USA. Well, can they capitalise on that confusion in the Larissa and Juliana partnership? Ross goes once more. Goes to Juliana this time. And Juliana finds the sand, much needed from Brazil. And it means that we're back to a level playing field in terms of the score. Hit through the block of Jen Kessie. It's still the USA with advantage, though, so long as they side out, they'll have the lead. And if it carries on like that, it would mean that the USA would get a match point. Well, looking to change all that, Larissa. Right, good work from uh, Jen Kessie. And as you say, every time they side out, they go a point up. Exactly what they've just done. And Jen Kessie's super smashing is super smashing great. Juliana's jumping into the cross court and left too much line for Jen Kessie. This is great play, though, from April Ross. She's keeping Kessie just far enough off the net to give her the angles to put the ball away. Well, Larissa will take that, though. Content to quickly put that rally to bed. Just hitting around the block of Jen Kessie and finding the sand quite easily. He enjoyed it, look at him. Oh, nicely, nicely played by April Ross. She's got a lovely arm swing, April Ross. She stays nice and high, uses a lot of her shoulder, hip to shoulder to hit the ball. Doesn't have to open up her shoulders particularly. She still generates the power through the ball. That right, means the Brazilians have gone uh, to the technical area to take a timeout. They're a point down, but with the US having firmly both the momentum and the numerical advantage in their favour, it's crunch time for Juliana and Larissa. Well, it could be heartache, and it's not good, is it, to see this. Larissa is beside herself. They've got a bronze, they've got a silver from the World Championships. It's their probably, they see it as their best ever opportunity to get a gold in the absence of Maria of uh, Kirsty, yeah. Uh, Kerry Walsh. Kerry Walsh, my apologies. Kerry Walsh and Misty Van Trainer. They're not here, but now they find another USA side in their way and potentially denying them yet again from a gold medal. Well, look at Larissa. As you say, beside herself. Quite the opposite from Jen Kessie. She's really enjoying it. Always vocal, always animated too, but much more in a positive fashion, the Ross Kessie partnership, even when things aren't going the way. And it's. Uh, been a grating second set for the Brazilians. Well, the Hawaiian dancing girls with us right to the end. They certainly turned into uh, Ross and Kessie fans over the course of this tournament.
Seems to be their hero, April Ross, to try and hammer this home now for the stakes. And the net serve does her a favour. There's the two-point gap, and it's theirs to lose. That could now be the biggest turning point. A little bit of luck. The ball catches the tape. It drops down agonisingly for the Brazil. Delight for the USA. Two more points, and the job will be done. Two points off a world championship. That coming off a 37th place finish last time out. Quite remarkable, the turnaround. That is going to be a turnaround for Brazil. Larissa just sowing the seeds there with the spike. Well, it's got the side out, but they're going to have to make it happen here now from serving, from block defense. Juliana's not got a block yet in this game. She needs to get one now. She needs to make a good touch or force the USA into Larissa so that they can get transition play to work. If right. not, it's going to be a match point for the USA. It looks like Juliana left her blocking in the morning session. She was excellent this morning. But there's that match point you were talking about. 2018 and Jen Ifakesi will be serving for the World Championship. Ross given a free net, Juliana breaking. Larissa can't believe she's done that, but it's too late now. They've got to side this out to stay in the game. This match point. Larissa setting up for Juliana to deny for the moment. One more match point to defend, though. That's good thinking from the USA. A good side out from Juliana, but very clever now from the USA. They've called timeout. They're going to try and take the sting out of what Brazil wants to do. They're going to make them wait. They're going to make them have to think about this serve. So a reminder, this US team, 23 Swatch FIVB tournaments, three gold medals, two silvers, one bronze, a fourth place finish too. They have done everything in such a short number of tournaments. Juliana Larissa, 63 tournaments, 23 gold medals, but the one that has eluded them has been the World Championship as Mr. Way and his wife look on. And the Americans having won a good 20 less watch tournaments than the Brazilians, are suddenly close and very close to being world champions. It's this simple. One good pass, one good set, one good put away, the job's done. The job's very nearly done, and it's very nearly heartache for those fans. All the pressure in the world now on the shoulders of Juliana. Into the net, looks as though there's a touch on the net. Four touches, given. Well, Ross had the swing. She had a golden opportunity to take the gold medal, and she's found the net. It didn't touch Juliana in the block. The correct call from the referee, four touches, and yet again, we're going to a two-point set. Well, it's deja vu as far as this match is concerned, and others that we've had in what has been a marvellous day of action here at the Swatch FIVB World Championships 2020 and two match points saved so far by the Brazilians. They're going to have another one, though, the States. April Ross comes to the party. She's wishing she'd done that on the last swing, but you can't worry about that. She's done the right thing here. She's got on with business. She's put the ball away. They've given themselves another match point opportunity. So match point, the United States and April Ross serving to become world champions. And she hits it long, 21-21. We're going there again, aren't we? Well, she doesn't mind that. She's got license to do that. She's serving for the game. She's serving to be world champion. She can go at it hard and she can try and force Larissa and Juliana into playing it because they know if they side out, she's going to get another chance. They keep siding out, they keep the pressure on Brazil. So long as they can keep siding out, they'll keep getting match points. Well, they'll be looking for the side out straight away here. There's been a side change to Brazil in green on the left of your screen as we look at it. And put to bed very, very quickly by Jen Kessie on the second touch. Great thinking from the oldest player on court, 31 years of age. She's played now nine seasons, 47 tournaments, and she put all of that into practice to get that off the block and over the despairing dive of Larissa. 
Now she has a moment on serve to crown those nine seasons of World Championship glory. There's the blood from April Ross, the United States of America, our world champions of beach volleyball. Jen Kessie and April Ross pull it off. What a game, what a gold medal match, and what a block to seal the deal for the USA. Just brilliant. Sublime stuff from April Ross. And of course, all 1 meter 85 of her was put to excellent use there. The handshakes do.